Hey everyone! In this video I wanted to show you a few spiritual practices that you could do with a spindle. So before I begin I want to remind you again that before you start performing any of those practices you should try spinning the spindle in your hands clockwise, counterclockwise Get used to it, see how it spins, maybe even spin it on this little plate to get used to it. And only once you get acquainted to holding the spindle in your hands and freely spinning it in either direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, because these are the two directions we'll be working with. And after that, you could start with the spiritual practices that I'm about to introduce you to. So, as I already said in my previous video, work with a spindle is based on working with the two currents. Ascending current, the one that comes from above, rotating counterclockwise, goes up, up in the sky or so-called earth current, or as they call Makosha's current. And the other current is called Velis's current. It comes from the sky. It is a descending current that comes down in a spiral that is rotating clockwise all the way to the ground. So, by working with the spindles, we work with these currents. Uh, <clears throat> uh, for the first practice, what I would like you to do is take your spindle, hold it to your stomach area, it's just above the belly button. Uh, I want to warn that these spiritual practices are for men, as spin uh, for, ah, for women, excuse me. These spiritual practices are for women, as uh, women were traditionally working with a spindle. Men never used a spindle for anything. They used, for spiritual practice, they used wands, knives, but not spindles. So... If you are a woman and you have a spindle and you want to try a spiritual exercise with a spindle, for the first one I would want you to take that spindle like this in your hand and hold it to your stomach area. It's about two or three fingers above the belly button, just where I have this belt. So. From there, I want you to begin rotating your spindle clockwise with your right hand, then counterclockwise, try keeping it pressed to your belly with your left hand. So now once you still hold the spindle in your non-dominant hand, I'm right-handed, so when I say what is right hand for me and you're left handed, you should use your left hand. This. And when I obviously say left hand for me, if you're left handed, you would be using your right hand. So right now I'm holding the spindle in my left hand and I'm turning it counterclockwise like this. And I'm going to turn three times counterclockwise while rotating the spindle counterclockwise. Here it helps if you stop and close your eyes and just feel the ascending current spin around you. You can actually feel that rotation going all around your body, all the way up. 
We're just gonna breathe deeply. Now, I'm gonna still hold the spindle at my belly, but I'm gonna flip it upside down so it's foot, as I described in a previous video, would be facing up. And I start turning it clockwise, holding it in my right hand. Again, if you're left-handed, hold it in your left hand here. So I'm turning it clockwise while holding it to the belly. And right now I'm going to turn three times clockwise. Now I stop and breathe deeply with my eyes closed, feeling the descending current washing over me. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, and open your eyes. So, learning to feel these currents, learning to access them, is the first step in uh, mastering spiritual work with a spindle. The second exercise I wanted to show you is pretty similar to the first one, except for I'm going to be holding spindle at different levels. So, we start with the very bottom. We hold spindle in a straight hand, facing down like this, kind of like a steak. And we start spinning it clockwise while its foot, which is important to notice, is still facing up. We turn around while spinning the spindle, one circle, clockwise. Now, I put the spindle in my other hand and flip it with its toe up. And I still hold it down at around the hip level. And I start spinning it counterclockwise, trying to hold it as straight as possible. As I turn counterclockwise one time. Now I bring the spindle to about the stomach or chest level, right over here. I flip it over and put it in my right hand, my dominant hand. Again, if you're left handed, you use the left hand. I spin it clockwise and I turn again around clockwise one time. I switch hands, flip the spindle with its toe up and spin it counterclockwise and turn counterclockwise once. Now I raise the spindle to about my eye level. I see its tip at around my eye level. I flip it upside down. Now I see its toe at around my eye level. I turn clockwise once while spinning the spindle clockwise. Again I flip it around, spin it counterclockwise, and spin counterclockwise once. This practice is called the golden cocoon. It creates a protection, protective aura around you. It, so as to say, it casts a protective circle at all of your energy levels. The base and the center 
and the crown at every level so if you ever need protection from an evil eye if you have to be in public a lot if you have to meet somebody that you know doesn't like you it does help to cast that protection spell with a spindle around you before you go to that meeting however some kind of women I know recommend doing this every Sunday in the morning when the sun is shining just go outside and spin around with a spindle and just feel the sunshine and the energy of the earth wrapping around you and they do say that a cocoon cast with such spindle could be broken only by someone who practices spin spindle magic too. Nobody else can break through such a cocoon, at least energetically. They can't. For the third practice, you would need three, ah, two spindles. Excuse me, I am going delirious. So, I will take one of these spindles, for example, here. Normally, for this practice, it makes sense to have spindles made out of a wood type of which that you know, because you need one spindle made out of a donor tree, such as birch, linden, oak, uh, cherry, or apple and the other spindle is better to be made out of an accepted tree such as spruce or uh, choke cherry or willow or alder or elder all of these woods come from the acceptor trees and bushes and are known for their power to draw out the energy. So normally this practice precedes and concludes magical rituals, especially the ones that spindles are used in. So again you place both spindles, one facing up, the one that is made out of donor tree and the one that is held in your dominant hand would be facing with a foot up at your stomach level. The other one uh, would be facing with its foot down and toe up the acceptor spindle in your non-dominant hand. For me it's the left hand. And we put them at the stomach level and then start spinning them both. Spin, 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 and spin in both simultaneously at the same time. Now, once we get used to holding them and spinning them in our both hands, we put the donor wood spindle, the one in your right hand, the one that's facing with its foot up, with the heel up, all the way up here and above your head and the other one the acceptor spindle would be facing down at around the hip level while uh, this one as I said would be the head level over the head so now we start spinning both spindles together spinning and slowly the spindle on the top is going down the spindle on the bottom is going up until they meet at stomach level here uh, we switch again put the donor spindle up the acceptor spindle down and we repeat the process slowly up until they meet at the stomach level. One up, going up, one going down. And again, with not don't spin the spindles when we switch. Again, going up and down simultaneously until we meet at the stomach level. Here we stop spinning them 
And resume. It takes some practice to do this. However, this is how they connect to the energy of the earth and the sky before and after the magical ritual in northern Slavic spiritual tradition that I belong to. So these are some really simple exercises that you can try and please let me know in your comments if you were aware of these exercises or you have any others to share and thank you for watching. Bye!